We'll start this video like this. Today's Friday the 4th of September. I can tell you what, that's a very, very rare sight in 2020 over Sydney. A jet flying in from somewhere. It was only a week and a few days back when we had a look at Barbie the Redback Spider. She had one egg sack and she has not yet put out web for this spider season. So it's still totally free of web under here. The beep has been removed from this video. And as always, this video is highly educational. Beep. Beep, beep. Well that there might tell you what sort of weather we've been having. Let's take a look at the highly educational Redback Spider control chart. To find September, I'll have to go in this direction. There's September there. It is spring, although real spring doesn't start until the equinox, which is the 22nd of September. So this relates to the southern hemisphere. If you're in the northern hemisphere, it will be reversed. And as we track along this way, we're headed straight into the peak spider season, yay. And maybe to be hyper educational, let's take a look at Barbie the Redback Spider's egg sac laying dates. These are the dates that Barbie has laid up at Redback Spider egg sacs. We've been through our winter break. Now, there was a mystery one in sometime in August, but she has just laid up another one on the 1st of September. Okay, that accounts for the educational component of this video. I'll just gently put that over there somewhere. I've got this with me today, and today is going to be all about removing the egg sacs, as in plural, because there's now two from Barbie's home and as always when I go in to have a peek at what's going on with Barbie I like to be a little bit careful because you don't know where she's going to be there's also a little sister in here as well okay let's take a look and if I do this it'll help me see better inside okay first off I'll show you little sister and little sister has actually grown a bit she's still very small and I'll just see how she's going if I put the tweezers nearer yeah, she's grown up nicely. There's a bit more vision of little sister, and I'm just a bit curious in how feisty she is. Is she gonna run or is she gonna have a go at the tweezies? I honestly don't think she's gonna last that long in here with, with Barbie, that's my, that's my opinion. Okay, as for Barbie, she's a breeder. She's been a very, very busy girl. She's been a busy girl all year, and I'm just gonna see if she's different because we haven't got that cold temperature remember in the last time we looked at her she was very sluggish how is she going to react to the tweezers this time mm. she's going to probably want to protect those egg sacs and that's what i'm here to oh there you go see that yes i would not want to be down there with my fingies i tell you because i think barbie would have a really good sample of them Notice how she's moving differently today versus last time in that quite cold temperatures. And she's going to want to hang around the XX because that's what she's trying to protect. And um, today's job is to get them out. I've changed these tweezers and given them uh, a bit of a pointy end to them. And hopefully I'll be able to pinch the egg sac and pull it out. Now what sometimes Barbie does, she chases it up. Okay, I might be able to get two egg sacs if I'm lucky, but I don't want to bring Barbie up and this is the problem. She might try and chase up the, the tweezers. I've got to try and shake her away. Oh, it's trickier than what it looks, isn't it? Nice grab there and pull these up. Hopefully got them, yeah, got them out, yay. And Landy XX in the back of this Disney Cars character who I've got no idea the name of that one. And I might have a little secret project for those XX coming up soon. So poor old Barbie, man, she must be a confused redback spider because she keeps losing her children. Oh man, she is very, very feisty, I tell you. She doesn't like me, but I think her memory's quite short, I hope. There we go, look at that. She's so different today versus that cooler day, I can tell you. Definitely no finger zone in there. Whoa. I'll leave Barbie and little sister who still hasn't got a name to their own devices there. I'm sure there'll be more egg sacs very soon because uh, what I've noticed about Barbie is, well, she keeps producing the goods, doesn't she? Oh, that wasn't too hard. The new Tweezy design worked to get those egg sacs out and I better grab this before I forget. And I've got another little project to do just down the road. Welcome to my neighbor's bins now. I put white lithium grease on these some time ago. Don't ask me exactly when. We've had bushfires and viruses Time feels horribly distorted, but what I can see down here, and it is slightly disturbing, 
it looks like a redback spider at play. I'm just going to set up a little torch for today. It's actually quite an overcast, a bit of a dull day. Now, sometimes when you look at the web network, you can start to tell what spider you're dealing with. And the web here, as you can see, it, I'm moving the web by putting the pencil through here. It actually comes all the way out here. Oh yeah, through there as well. So yes, this spider has actually got quite an extensive little area there where it could catch things from its webs. One of the main characteristics of a redback spider web is it's quite strong when you put something through it like this. There's often bits and bobs dangling in it. Okay, so this is the things you've got to look out for. These are the telltale signs that you're dealing with a redback spider. Hmm. And just looking at that there, I, I'd hate to think what that is. It's all web and spiderific, but it was uh, caught up in that zone. Ugh. I can't see web on the other bins here, and what I'm going to do today is we'll obviously get rid of this spider and come along and do a top up of the white lithium grease. Uh, that's what needs to be done. I'll just get this bin pushed over so we can see exactly what we're dealing with here. I can see her there. They are easy to see against the white background of white lithium grease. Uh, she's not too small and then again she's not too big either. She's one of those in between sort of redbacks. And just tracking along here looking up underneath all the areas of the bin here. The rest of it looks pretty clean. She's just trying to set up a home up at this end here and you can still see her there just sitting waiting. She's probably wondering what's going on. I brought with me a couple of weapons today. I'm not going to use the Coles Multi, which I really like. I'm going to use my Baby Weed Dragon. Now the trick here is apply the heat at the bottom, work your way up and she's got no way to escape. Okay, here we go. It shouldn't take too long. I'd say she's dusted. Okay, with my little tweezies here, I think she's up here and I'll just very carefully bring her out. There she is. Done and dusted. And to repurpose her beautiful body there, I can take her home and feed her to the ant colony that I saw around Barbie the Redback Spider's home. What I will do is just get rid of the excess muck here and then just come in and apply a fresh spray of the white lithium grease. Won't go too crazy, but I'll just freshen it up and hopefully that'll deter another spidey from fitting up. Doesn't take too long at all and I'll also do a little bit around the wheelsies as well. Them spideys love them wheelsies. It didn't take long, it didn't use much lithium grease and I've topped them all up and what was very curious about this bin here was there were some little sisters making the bolt when I started the spray. There's one there, another one there and there's another little sister there. So it's three good nice sisters. One, two and three. Uh, never to come back to planet Earth. I'll tell you something, they're persistent things, spiders, uh, they will not give up, uh, but if you just keep on top of what's going on, you can save yourself a whole world of pain, and I'll just get these bins back to exactly how they were, then my neighbours won't even know I've been here. And to finish off, I've got to deliver my little cooked spider, the good night sister spider, to the lovely ant colony up my way. I'm back up at my place, that's Barbie's home there, and I certainly know along this area here there's a stack of ants, and I know there's a major ant colony in that zone right there. So if I put the goodnight sister redback spider right there, how long is it going to take the ants to work out there's a lovely mill to be had? As I've learnt before, ants can be thick old things. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. Even the kookaburras are laughing at me. They know this is impossible. Oh, there might be a bit of interest going on there, but I'm not seeing them jump on top of that in their billions. Kookaburras are still laughing at me. And now it's starting to rain. I'm not gonna lay in the rain and watch barely anything happen. 
I have been laying here for about half an hour and look part of it's interesting it's almost like some of the ants are, are pre-programmed and they just ignore that lovely meal there a few ants have come along and had a sniff and I thought maybe they're going to go back and tell the rest to come out and start pulling the red back down but no um, maybe these are just dud ants or maybe I just need more time to play out but with the rain setting in I'm not going to be a goose and lay in the rain and wait for the ants to start doing what they're meant to be doing I told you you can lead a horse to water but sometimes I just don't want to drink if I just push that under there I know there's a stack of ants in there uh, they'll find that red back spider I'm sure of it hang on there's movement at the station uh, something's happening here by me pushing that spider in they uh, got excited okay here we go the spider is on the move and it's the ants that are doing the moving they've all of a sudden gone into antrific mode it looks like they're going to take the spider up because it's actually a trail of ants going to the top of this pot uh, it's, it's climbing up the pot ever so slowly that change of mood by the ants happened almost like a light switch as soon as I put that spider a little bit closer in there they've just decided to extremely slowly lift the spider up and looks like they're taking it to the top but man it's going to take a long time and maybe a raindrop will wipe them out i've just got my iphone doing a time lapse there normally i wouldn't do that but uh it's happening so slow that maybe time lapse is the only way you'll get some idea of what's going on the part that's got me a bit confused and maybe there's ant people have watched my videos and they can explain this but I would have pulled the spider apart on the ground and then taken the components up because it's taking a lot of ants it's taking a lot of time to move this spider up it's extremely slow it's like watching the space shuttle tractor crawler at the Kennedy Space Center you can you know you got to put a time-lapse camera over it to realize the thing's moving but I'll tell you what there's a lot of ants there and like most things when you look at nature there's a lot of question just say well, why are they doing it like this and maybe they know more than me that's the only way I can sort of try to get my head around it I'm not going to question what the ants are going to do they would know the garden far better than me as I'm laying here there's ants crawling on me because they think I'm the next meal but uh, the more you look on the ground the more ants you tend to see and just looking back at the red back spider and the ants uh, doing their best to lift it up it's not a, a direct lift upwards it's tracking across at roughly 30 degrees a lot of ants there and there uh, it's just I keep saying it's an extremely slow process it's almost like watching paint dry I've got no idea how that iPhone time-lapse footage is going to come out and I've never used the time-lapse thing on that camera in the phone it's just tricky to know on the iPhone if that's in focus or not. I'm hoping it's okay. Heave. Heave. There's more ants turning up and, uh, and more lifting going on, although it's tracking sideways. It is still going up. Heave. Lift, guys. Come on, work together. They make great people in a tug of war team wouldn't they ants fairly obedient things by the looks of it there's been a change of plan they're actually going down now it actually dropped very suddenly and maybe some common sense has hit the ant colony we're going to um, take it underneath the pot now I thought that might have been the best solution at the start I can see through the iPhone footage there, yeah, look, there's a leg being taken away there. I'm shooting through the screen of the iPhone, as rough as that is. So, yes, uh, the dismantling of that spider is happening where I thought it would. The fancy ideas of going vertical, I think they're over. It does look like a bit of common sense has come across the ant colony. The redback spider is down near the ground again every time I look at ants and what they get up to you know what my saying is never mess with ants they are the ultimate rip tear and bust guys in the garden